guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. I went to Melbourne last week and I thought I would show you the outfits that I wore over the week. Kind of like a mini lookbook. So when I go on trips, I pre-plan my outfits if I can. This trip is quite short, so it's pretty easy to pre-plan outfits and I just checked the weather and tried to dress accordingly. But because Melbourne's weather is very unpredictable, that was a little bit hard. So for the plane ride, I like to go really comfortable um, because you're sitting for hours, you're waiting at the airport for a while. So comfort is key. So for me, I wanted to look a little bit put together because I still had the whole day ahead of me once I got to Melbourne. So I went with a pair of denim jeans. These are by Paige Denim and they're the Hoxton crop, I believe. They're like a darker wash and they have some rips on it, which I don't really like, but they're so comfortable that I always opt for these. Because they're not super tight around my waist, I, I just love them. They're super comfortable. I can wear them for hours and not feel uncomfortable, and they're super soft. And to pair with my jeans, I usually go for t-shirts. I love t-shirts, as you can tell. And I went for a Saint Laurent t-shirt. Um, just to look a little bit more put together, I guess it's a very plain, very simple t-shirt, and it's just got a little Saint Laurent logo there. This is actually one of the comfiest t-shirts I own because it's very oversized. The sleeves are a little bit longer so I usually do roll it up because I do like that look and it's just it's a great t-shirt. I always opt for one piece of outerwear every time I go to Melbourne and this time I chose a trench by Zara. It's like a faux suede material and it's in a, a light grey colour which I love because it's very neutral and it just it kind of matched with everything that I had going on so if I did need to wear a jacket I it would work with everything so it was very versatile. For accessories I only took two pairs of shoes and two handbags so this was the shoe that I wore pretty much in all of my outfits. These are the Gucci B sneakers. These are my favorite go-to sneakers for traveling because they're super duper comfortable and just easy to pair with everything. It's like my trench coat it matches with everything. I literally wore this every single day and for the plane I took my Dior Panareto. This is discontinued now. It's from a while ago. Um, it's it's actually a really good bag for traveling. I do prefer this to a Neverfull because it's got the little studs on the bottom so the bottom of my bag doesn't get dirty. Moving on to the next outfit. So I was going to have a really casual day just in the car just chilling really so I wanted something super comfortable and the weather was a little bit cooler so I went for my nobody denim jumper I got this at David Jones a couple weeks ago on sale which was fantastic and I just I really love the quality of this it's a really nice length and the sleeves are super long which makes it super cozy and super comfortable and I love the color gray for jumpers all my jumpers are pretty much gray so this fit right in it. And I paired that jumper with the same page denim jeans, my Gucci sneakers, and for a bag I did something different which was my Chanel boy bag. Now I wore this bag um, in between the trip so I didn't use the Dior bag, I used the Dior bag just for traveling. And this is a Chanel boy bag, it's in the color pearly black but it's actually a navy blue. And I love this, it just, I love to wear this bag casually, so like with jeans and a jumper or like a denim skirt and a t-shirt, I feel like that's the look that I like for this boy Chanel, because although it looks very dressy, I like to dress it down. So this was the perfect bag for this trip because I was going for that casual vibe with my sneakers and my denim. Next outfit, which was probably my favorite outfit, is a Zara pin for. It's in tweed, which is very Chanel-esque, which I love. I think Zara pulls off that Chanel-esque vibe quite well that we all have come to love. And it's got like two little buttons and it's just a white with a like a blue, a black and a red and I just love it. So this is a pinafore so I've got a top inside that's from Forever New and it's just got some fun little sleeves which I think gave it a little extra touch and a little bit personalized to my style. I decided to um, not make it too dressy by wearing my sneakers with it. I think that really dressed down the look for the day and I paired it with my Chanel boy bag. So I went out for dinner one night and I went to Nobu which is my favorite restaurant ever in Melbourne. I need to go to some more Japanese restaurants but I always just keep going back to Nobu because yellowtail sashimi it's like my favorite dish ever. It's like a dish you find at every Nobu and it is the best thing ever. If you ever go to Nobu, you have to try it. It is so good. So I was going to Nobu, I thought I'd dress up a little and I picked this play suit and it's by Kukai and it's in a, like a light pink with a 
with the navy blue, white, and red belt. Now, when I bought this, I thought it was a blaze. I did not try it, and I did not look at it properly, obviously, because at the back, it's actually a play suit. It's a bit hard to show here, but when I do the cutaways, you'll see that it's a play suit. I was pretty disappointed. I bought this in New Zealand, so when I came back to Australia, I couldn't return it, so that sucked. I thought I'd make use of it in Melbourne because it's a little bit cooler, so long sleeves work a little bit better up in Queensland wearing long sleeves you probably melt and die. I'm not really a big play suit person so that's why I was a little bit upset about this but it's actually a really nice play suit and I, and I actually liked how it turned out. And I paired that play suit with the same boy bag and I dressed it up with some heels. These are Gucci heels and I love these because they've got the thicker block heel which makes it really comfortable to walk. I stayed in South Wharf so I walked everywhere like to the city to Nobu and this was the perfect shoe to walk in because it's really comfortable and your feet actually don't get sore like I'm not joking these are the most comfortable heels that I own so that was great. And for my last outfit I went for a skirt. Now I love denim skirts. They are like my favorite thing. I've got a bunch of them. I'm wearing a denim skirt now. I just find them super comfortable and just a great casual outfit that you can throw together. So I wore this skirt. This is by Zara again. I got this also on sale and the last big sale that they had it was like $25 which was great. It's a nice dark denim and I just I like the little details like this bright silver buttons and the pockets and I paired it with this top which is another tweed top from Zara. These are the only two tweed items that I have from Zara and I decided to wear them on this trip. My favorite part of this top is the little threads that they have here just gives it something a little bit extra and I like the red color so that was my final outfit and on that day at the beginning of the day it was a little bit cooler so I went I paired it with my trench but when it got hot I took my trench off paired it with my Gucci sneakers and my boy Chanel so pretty simple um, that's how I like to travel is just taking accessories that are going to work with all my outfits taking an outerwear piece that's going to work with all my outfits so that it's really easy I'll just change up like I took one pair of denim jeans and I wore it multiple times I wore it with the jump I wore it with the top I wore it coming back home so that was super versatile. I try to take as many versatile pieces as I can. So that's all my outfits from Melbourne. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.